So you have, uh, we have this one here. Then we're going to do the bat. OK? So notice here, we have a sphere who, who does have size, which does have size. The sphere does have size, but its size is negligible compared to the distance between its center and the pivot point. This is much bigger. OK? Yeah? Got it? Yeah? So even though the sphere has size, its size is negligible compared to the distance. So the formula should be pretty adequate, OK, for this. OK? So then I'm going to take the stopwatch. And the angle, I'm going to make not too big, something like this. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen point six five seconds. Okay. So we'll make this example two. We have thirteen point six five seconds for ten revs, right? So we'll do one point three six five seconds. Now, interestingly, this one is independent of the mass. Uh, the ma so I don't even need to measure the mass. It's not like the, that one. This one, the mass cancels out of the equation, all it depends on is the length. So uh, all I need to do is measure the L. Okay, so let me get the ruler here. And again, I'm just going to do approximate. So the distance between that and the center of mass of the, the sphere, OK? So about 40, yeah, about 45, 45 centimeters. OK? So let's see if that one is going to work. So for that one, we have less stuff to measure. Just the L, and then we use uh, .45 divided by 9.8. Let's see what that comes out. It should come out, based on my experiment, about 1.365. One 1.346. Satisfied? OK? OK, that's fine. Not exact, exact, but 13, yeah. 13.65. See, I got 13.65, this one. It's 13.46 for 10 revs. Yeah, so that's pretty close. OK, so the formula there is working out. So it proves the 2 pi as well. Uh, pretty much everything's good there. Now let's go to the physical pendulum.